Zoe, one of my fondest childhood memories would have to be big family and friend get-togethers. I think that's where my love of cooking came from, that whole entertaining factor. But for some people, the thought of someone just popping over for lunch or having to bring a plate fills them with absolute fear. <laughs> Which is why we are here. We're getting into the community spirit and we're going to show you some quick recipes that you can whip together and en masse if need be. Be prepared to be the favourite in the family or the number one in the neighbourhood. Those two titles are literally mine for the taking because I am making rocky road bites. Everybody loves dessert and they're so easy. All you need to do is melt chocolate, decorate and refrigerate. They're a great one Ooh. for the kids too. My meal is more about preparing a meal for the unexpected visitor. It's actually a pea pesto with broccoli and leftover chicken. Now we're going to sound like broken records here but I'm going to say it again. Quick and easy food doesn't have to equal unhealthy. I'm getting important minerals like iron and magnesium from the dark chocolate. And don't forget the blueberries. They are a real superfood. And they're really low in calories, but packed with nutrients like antioxidants and vitamin C. And did you know, Zoe, they're one of the only truly blue foods in the world? Oh my God, healthy and beautiful. But enough of your dessert. The health hero of my dish is actually broccoli. It's rich in vitamin C for supporting immune system and skin health. I can see an extra immune boosting ingredient in there, Zoe. Garlic. You sure that's a good idea in a group environment? I mean, talk about garlic breath. You know what? All for one and one for all, I say, Lukey. But research shows by eating things like raw apples, drinking lemon juice and drinking green tea acts like a natural deodoriser and gets rid of that uh, garlicky breath. Fair call and well worth it for the antiseptic, antibacterial and antifungal properties of garlic. But you know what I really love about this recipe is it's so easy to swap things out. If you don't want to have the pasta, you can try things like edamame noodles. If you don't want to eat chicken as the protein, I love also adding things like beans and nuts as a substitute. Such a great idea, Zoe. How often do we open the fridge or pantry and look in there and think, what am I going to make with all this? So it's a really good recipe to have on hand. I could say the same about your recipe, Luki, and I have a funny feeling that we're going to be able to bribe our neighbours with these recipes. Garbage, sweeping, there's a lot of chores I need around my Actually, house. Actually, to my done. toilet needs cleaning. <laughs> how, how many Rocky Road bites would it take to get my toot cleaned? 